All right, everybody, I'm back. We're going to talk about Tipster, a guy that actually used to follow me on Twitter back in the day. Uh, don't know what he's really been up to in the last five years, except for the fact that he's uh, apparently a fan of Keffels. With his channel created in 2006, Tipster's been around for a while, but it did take over a decade for him to break into commentary. He began covering niche tech and gaming-related news. Billy Mitchell and E3 were his bread and butter. He also jumped onto trending topics and viral memes. This led him to garner an audience around 2017 alongside a raid from Zoe Berger, who some call the first e-girl. Tipster had also befriended YouTubers within the commentary community like Tommy C and Augie RFC. However, in 2019, he would find himself within their crosshairs as he began an online feud with Tommy after liking tweets calling him a drunk uncle that's while they're asleep, as well as other tweets slamming Tommy's character. Tipster would deny liking these tweets, but would eventually be exposed and proven wrong. Tommy would also hit Tipster pretty low by making fun of his wife, and the feud would continue up until around the time Tipster began covering Susie Liu and had received a fraudulent community guideline strike on his channel due to a video on her. This would cause some of the members of the commentary community to rally behind Tipster, including Nicholas Diorio, Tommy C, Augie RFC, John Swan, and really a lot of the big players the time. And so, all was well within the community when it came to that group. They liked Tipster, he was viewed favorably, he was officially part of the in-group at this point. However, By the way, I don't consider myself even adjacent to that group that he just mentioned. I'm not against anybody in the Augie, Tipster, Nicholas Diorio sphere or whatever. You know, they have their own type of content. I don't know what my content is really called. I guess it's commentary, but I don't know. They're more topical and I basically just watch whatever I want. And people just say that I could read a phone book and they would watch it for some reason, but I don't know. I don't consider myself competing against them at all, or even in the same genre, but I don't know what you call my stuff. I do like their stuff though. I, I will admit, I do like Augie and uh, Nicholas Diorio and all of them, especially when they were, you know, railing against Flamenco, who's a creep and Keffels, who's also a creep. You know, somebody that, you know, Tipster is unfortunately a big fan of. Shame on him. However, just a few years later, Tipster would find himself a target of his newfound allies. And for a reason that we probably could have seen coming. I hate this world so much, chat. Take, for instance, this flirtatious quip towards a friend of the community back in 2019. Lilith, also known as Deluja, tweeted out that she was a lesbian, to which Tipster notoriously replied, Why do all the hot ones not like dick? Hashtag feels bad, man. Thank you so much, Tom, for censoring your words for me. It makes me so happy when commentary YouTubers that I, you know, react to or commentate from or that I pull from in general, do the censoring for me. It, it makes my life so much easier. God bless you, Tom. Oh, the only problem is that Lilith was 17 at the time and Tipster was in his thirties. Uh, why do they always turn out to be creeps is the cleanest word I can use for that because all other words will get me demonetized. Why do they have to be creeps? Every single one of them. Why is every locale that I cover that I run into rather Cyrax, whether it's now tipster, whether it's pretty much everyone, except for maybe blade. I don't know if blades ever tried to creep on a girl yet. I don't know enough about blade to even know, but I'm sure in the comments, everybody's going to be like, yeah, he talked to this 13 year old and that 14 year old. And, blah, blah, blah. and I'm just going to be like, Oh my God, why? What is with every low cow being It's almost like a, like a 90% chance that any low cow that exists is also into, you know, way too young women, even if they're not creeping into the underage ones, you got people like boogie who's dating someone that's 19 when he's 50 or pushing 50 and just stuff like that. They always have some type of cool thing. Flamenco with his, well, he was actually into the, you know, Shodan, which is like the inverse of this, like instead of girls as boys and you know, something called soprano, which I refuse to even acknowledge exists beyond saying that because what is wrong with people? Just why can't, what is, what is the attraction to quote Gino Samuel? I didn't mean to quote him, but what is the attraction of old men creeping on young women? I just, I'm, I'm literally the, the opposite. I'm just like, I like older chicks and I don't, I just can't fathom. I'm okay. Let's back up. I'm 34 right now. As of 10, 26, 23, I am 34 years old. If a 24 year old came to me wanting to 
bang me or do anything to me. I'm like, what? Get out of here. You know what I mean? But tipster is over here talking about a 17 year old is hot when he's probably older than me or around the same age as me. And it's just, dude, I have a nephew that's 17. Okay. Just, I don't know why I said that because I don't know any girls that he hangs out with, or I don't even know his girlfriend if he has one, but I have a nephew that's 17. And if there was like a 30 some year old woman creeping on him, I swear for God, I, w I would do some things that would get me deleted off YouTube. If I even describe them, the police would be calling them. if they didn't do anything, then it would be pitchforks at dawn with the rest of the family. I don't, I luckily, luckily only have one niece who I've might've seen twice ever. And I don't even know how old she is. She's, she's under 10, I guess. I don't know. You know, I haven't, she's just never around, you know, she's never, you know, anywhere near the office and she kind of just stays home and, you know, she never comes over here. Cause the only one that comes over here is the boy and he's 17 and he just watches WWE with dad, but it's like, okay, I know that I ramble a lot, but I, I really need to make this aside. I really need to make this die version or whatever you want to call it, this detour really quick. People like tipster, like Cyrax, the, all the to catch people I cover on Patreon or covered from the old series that you can't watch anymore. Besides on Patreon, of course, all of these people that creep on young girls has made it where if I see a young woman in public, especially girls that are possibly 13 to 14 years old. I get incredibly uncomfortable now because I look at them and it's not their fault. That's the screwed up thing. It's not their fault, but I'll see a girl that's anywhere between, you know, five and 15 and I see them in public and I'm just like, Vosh wants to sleep with that, you know, and, and it just gives me this really uncomfortable, really depressed, really disgusted feel that. I can now visualize who Vosh and tipster and Cyrex creep on that. I actually, you know, when I hear 14 year old, I, my mind doesn't immediately visualize a 14 year old girl. Cause I don't have them in my life at all. Right. I don't have a 14 year old relative that's female or male. Right. So when I see one, instead of thinking, oh, there's, you know, Hey, it's a kid, whatever, you know, just don't run into him with the cart. I immediately think Vosh wants to sleep with that. And it, and it just makes me hate him more. Every time I see somebody that he would try to groom, I've gotten that jaded about the younger people. It's just, I don't understand you people. You're creeps. You're disgusting. You're, you're awful. And I, I just hope that you just remove yourself from the internet and just don't come back. Uh, I know we've gotten to a very dark place now already from just tipster creeping on a 17 year old, but it doesn't matter to me. You know, underage is underage and it's just wrong. And people like Tipster just keep going. Would go on to apologize for this, but he would never truly live it down because he'd never learn his lesson. You'd think after this he would chill with the horny jokes, maybe tone it down a bit with the flirtatious banter. Well, no, actually. Uh, in fact, he would turn the volume way, way up and would only increase these jokes. We would be blessed with a multitude of screenshots of Tippy being just straight up crude, weird, and, and cringe. He began to surround himself with a multitude of women, almost any woman, regardless of height, age, shape, color, or mental predisposition. Anyone who would accept his cringe comments about how they want the tip and how he wants to oh my god i'm so uncomfortable youtube please ban this guy if he's creeping he just said all right let's hear that again or mental predisposition Hold on, before that another five seconds almost any woman regardless of height age shape color or mental predisposition any youtube twitter ban this man seriously if he's creeping on underage girls more than just that one, not even more than just that 17 year old alone should be, you know, for him to be banned, ban him, nuke him from the platform. I know you won't do it to sniper wolf. Get rid of tipster. Seriously. If he's using his platform to lure young women or women in general, while wow, he's married for one, but also just trying to lure them into some type of foolishness. Get, just get rid of him. He's a, he is a her at that point. Anyone who would accept his cringe comments about how they want the and how he wants to give them the. Well, would you look at that? It looks like Hannah Animal is asking to come along too. Guess she really does want. The That's all that you got, really. When you're as fat as Tipster, you ain't got much more than a tip. <laughs>
that's screwed up, but it's actually probably true. I mean, let's be real. When's the last time he saw his dick? He's probably only seen the in the last in the last ten fifteen years. Oh no. Or probably ever. He's probably never seen more than the Look, Hannah, let's set this shit straight right. Maybe that's why he calls himself tipster, because it's he's just like he just yeah. Now, all right. I didn't say I was gonna give you the nor that I wanted to give you the okay. I said you wanted that the only person that's getting this tip is my wife. Ain't that right, babe? Oh my god, that flash of flamenco's creepy face. Exactly. See, this ain't your tip. And this wasn't an infrequent occurrence. It was every single day. Oops, you liked my tweet. Guess we did it again, you dirty little <laughs> lol. <laughs> Bro, chill out. You're not an e-girl. You're an e And you're my e Not at Omegon's. So Omegon is someone that I actually really like. I like Omegon a lot. I think he's a great commentary channel. I hope that he hasn't gotten in, into any nonsense. Omegon is actually really cool. He, we actually used to follow each other on Twitter when I had a Twitter. And I think we used to talk once in a blue moon and DMS about like guitar stuff. Cause I, I think Omegon's like a metal guy. And I forgot what kind of guitar he told me he had, but like he had some really nice, like, I think it was rather a Gibson or a Charvel that I remember we talked about, but I remember he was just like a metal dude. And we just used to talk about gear and stuff. It was awesome. He's a lucky man. He got himself the one and only goth mom, bro. Bro, you're talking to someone else's girl like that? Just not at Omegons. He's a lucky man. He got. Uh, I'll, I'll, he's a lucky man. He's got himself uh, the one and only goth mommy. Ha ha. Just why would you say that to another man's wife or, or girlfriend or whatever? Like, dude, back off. Seriously, what are you doing? Got himself the one and only goth mom bro <laughs> stop stop and this would be a consistent theme even to his own detriment why is his wife not saying look stop and and the ridicule of hundreds of people tipster just can't help but let these girls know that he wants to stick it in nice looks great also your friend is kind of cute haha <laughs> hey okay calm down keep going just oof I was only joking. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Can't actually hey, see hey, her with her fingers hey, in the hey, way. Hey, but I guess I kind of set myself up for that one. Sorry, lol. Like, what? Why don't you take a seat over there, tipster? Right, right over there. What is, is the joke here exactly? Is he actually calling this 16-year-old ugly and it's it's ironic in nature? Like, where where is the funny? Where is the joke? Now, it's important to note that I wouldn't say this constitutes some kind of sex crime. I'm not calling him some kind of... I know some people... I am. I'm calling him a right now. That's two women now that he said is hot that were both underage. Take these things and run with them. And I'm not trying to hashtag me to this guy. But he is cringe. And honestly, that's way worse in my book. In May of 2022, tipster simping woes were still apparent as he tweeted... Hold on, what did he say? And honestly, that's way worse in my book. In May of 2022, Simp pays Amaranth $8,000 to call him a loser. All right. Tipster simping woes were still apparent as he tweeted out a screenshot of an Amaranth video snitching on himself and showing that he was an early viewer of the video and probably had notifications on and ready to go. Now, I can already hear the one tipster fan in the audience saying that this can be explained by tipster being a commentary channel. Well, I know a lot of commentary channels personally, and not one of them tweeted out the new Amaranth video 30 seconds after it came out. However, uh, by the way, I actually don't subscribe to any of the lol cows that I watch. Uh, I just kind of go with people sending me tips and not tipster, but tips in my discord server, which you should totally join. The reason I bring it up constantly is because YouTube has banned me before. And it basically cut me off from being able to tell people where I, you know, made a new account, whether it be Twitch, rumble, odyssey, whatever. And yeah, it's a lot easier. Plus mailing list cost a lot of money to maintain and, you know, they usually go to spam anyway. So your best option, join my Discord if you want to keep up with me off YouTube in case something happens. Okay? Keep going. Instead of playing along with a joke and saying something like, Oh, you got me, guys. I'm, I'm horny as freak right now. Def lol. Why don't you just go to your wife then? I mean, that's what she's there for. You married her because you wanted to be with her forever, and you can her anytime you want. Why don't you go do it? Go to your wife. I'm giving you permission to go your wife. I I'm demanding that you go your wife right now. 
I'm hard. Tipster got in his feelings. He unfollowed people, he blocked some others, and then decided to private his Twitter account and go sad anime boy mode once again at 35 years old. Then he announced he was stepping away from social media to work on his mental health. As you can imagine, he, he came back a few days later. Now with all this e-girl drama, one has to ask what Tip's motivation is. What urge is driving him to talk to girls like this consistently, even to his own downfall, even to ridicule of hundreds of people, which he clearly doesn't like because every time it happens, he has a borderline mental breakdown. Is it money? Well, no, because they're all broke. Is it clout? Also no, because none of them are famous. No famous girl would talk to him this way, frankly. <laughs> or allow him to talk to them that way. Is it friendship? I mean, maybe, but I'd argue not in a traditional sense. Tipster is a lonely man, and he places a lot of value on internet friendship as a result of that. That's something I bet a lot of you can relate to, okay? You Discord freaks. That's why you start sad posting anytime he's in drama. It's not a joke, it's not ironic. It genuinely, really negatively affects him when he gets made fun of on the internet for things he does. Which is ironic, of course, because he's a commentary channel who has built his career, and I do say that lightly, but he's built his career off of making fun of and criticizing other people for their actions. The community, also known as a few hundred spurgy teenagers on Twitter who are overrepresented because of meme culture, really weighs heavy on his soul. And he's obviously very horny as well. He's not getting that satisfaction from elsewhere in his life, which is why he jokingly compliments, flirts with, and make comments about any woman who comes his way. Of course, always ending it with lol. Because if you say lol at the end of anything, that just means it's a joke and, and you don't have to actually face any consequences for what you're saying. I'm gonna sh I can't read this. See, notice that <laughs> lol. That denotes that the statement is a joke, it's ironic, it's meta irony. Therefore, there's absolutely no real intention behind it, no matter how many times- You know what, Dom? You just need to come out and say it. He's a harasser. He's no different than Vouch was with Poppy. You know, girls may laugh at it. <laughs> you know, whatever. Like, just say LOL or- yeah, maybe just kind of brush him off, but they're not into it, you know? It's like, they're probably creeped out by him, to be honest. Let's be real. If you had someone that looked like... T okay, let's back up. If you had anyone, regardless if they look like Tipster or not, saying that stuff to you in public, especially if you are in a relationship with somebody that is known or knows about Tipster, it'll make you uncomfortable. I still get more action than you. Ladies love the jiggly jiggly. No, nah, nah, nah. they might. I don't know. Some women are weird. Ooh, a lot of them are. I actually knew one girl that was really into Billy the Fridge, and yeah, she was actually kind of hot. So I think she actually did reach out to him. So Billy, if you're watching this ever, don't worry. You know, you've probably already talked to her, and you probably already kicked her out of your bed because she's psychotic. But yeah. This is a new body fat analysis test. I start you jiggling and measure how long it takes to stop. Woohoo! Look at that blubber fly! Yes. Nurse, cancel my one o'clock. At this point, if you know who Tipster is, it's less likely you know him for his content, and more likely you were introduced through his most popular meme, the goth mommies. It's truly transcended anything he's done in terms of content. After people noticed his propensity to call e-girls goth mommies, it became a community in-joke to talk about his harem of women, sitting at his feet ready to serve him, right next to his bucket of Taco Bell. But some of these e-women would present unique problems for Tipster, causing drama that he would get hopelessly wrapped up in. One oh my god, you're telling me that mentally ill women cause a bunch of drama when you try to harass them say it's not so that's not saying all goth mommies are mentally ill that was a joke but still just see i think goth chicks are incredibly hot you know i think all, all everyone does but they have to be of age you know like the hottest one of the hottest women ever i don't know what she looks like in recent years but you know at least in the last 10 years probably the most beautiful woman on earth to me was Christina Scabia or Scabia, whatever. The chick that sings for Lacuna Coil. She's well into her 40s. She is absolutely dropped. She is so hot. It's ridiculous. Amy Lee is ridiculously hot. And she's probably in her 30s or 40s. Avril Levine, who's almost 40, is just hotter than she's ever been, honestly. You know? And she's kind of got the goth skater punk thing. So older women can pull it off. And I think they actually pull it off better. Jackie LaPanza is still ridiculously hot. The chick from Mushroom Head. But still, it's like, but these girls, are, like that one probably is only 16. I don't know how old that one is. That one's probably like 14 or 15. I don't know how old she is, but 
It's like tipster likes him young though, and just gross. For people notice his propensity to call e girls goth mommies. Let's put it this way: if there was a goth mommy in tipster's vicinity, she would not want tipster because she has all these other dudes that would want her. Because goth mommies are in high demand. Came a community in joke to talk about his harem of women sitting at his feet, ready to serve him, right next to his bucket of Taco Bell. But some of these e women would present unique problems for tipster, causing drama that he would get hopelessly wrapped up in. One particular princess who would help birth the goth mommy name was AP over 9k also known as AP overdose to her hate watchers the how old is she two met in November of 2021 after AP had seen that tipster was branching out to TikTok and these TikToks are straight fire yes trans people drink beer too and I don't have a problem with that because I prefer to treat all people like people cheers nice virtue signal we saw that from space before long, she was Madam of the Tipster Harem, with the two partaking in playful banter on stream. Most of these streams are long gone, though one clip does exist, in which a drunken AP goes mask off and delivers the dreaded N-bomb on stream due to her Taco Bell order getting cancelled on DoorDash. Based is- By the way. I feel like that's like another term- Disavow, just-, just Mainly because if YouTubers be not so disavowed of that, they're probably trying to say that I endorsed it, and I don't online thing like somebody's like says like to be nice like oh my mom's hot like i don't this think that's nigga. weird wait oh, did you what? say that fucking edward oh, okay, okay 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 yeah you got this what? is not weird Sorry. at all okay <laughs> yeah that's Bro, not see, this okay. is what that's not about. okay well, that's why Let's she got that. removed from the call because it's not no. okay. Obviously, this is the type of thing people are going to laugh at. So, Bo Blacks decided to meme on Tipster. What kind of picture is that? Oh my God, look at the thing of Keffels on his hat with the heart. Oh, Jesus. While asking what happened. He looks like a mask from the Goosebumps episode, The Haunted Mask. It escalated to a back and forth with AP in which the two confronted each other on stream. It was an unmitigated disaster. AP was so hammered that she couldn't figure out how to leave the Discord call. As it turns out, she was apparently unaware of the fact it was even a public debate, blaming that misunderstanding on Tipster. Now at this point, Tipster was already trying to publicly distance himself from the commentary community, but if that was his only intent, why did he get his top goth mommy in a call with a YouTuber to duke it out? Not only that, but he also pulled in streamer Augie RFC as well, who is synonymous with the commentary genre. It was only when when he felt the debate got too heated that he pulled the plug and deleted the whole server they were calling in. L let's get serious again, though. Let's get What's serious What's going again. on? Uh, uh, let's get super serial, guys. Okay. Are you good? Are you drunk? Do you have a little too much red wine? Oh, I'm kicked from the server. Wait. Did Wait. What? Wait, did Tipster give her- Tipster deleted the server? On May 24th, 2022, AP would turn her back on her goth mommy status and would begin to criticize Tipster for his actions. She would later claim it was because he had been talking shit about her. Let's read it, actually, because he's not going to read it. Unless he- I was nothing but supportive of you. Okay, let's go back. Let's actually read the tweets, because for some reason he did For his actions. She would later- Okay, so AP said, simping, no, I have a husband and- kids and a wonderful life with them i considered him a real friend and he threw me in a live show when he promised uh, it was a private discord call and tipster said now you're outright lying i never promised you it was private everyone knew it was live the voice channel uh voice chat channel the call took place in was literally called on air no game rewards and i told you he was live but you weren't paying attention, that's on you, not me. Her claim it was because he had been talking shit about her. I was nothing but supportive of you, and I defended you constantly when others said I shouldn't. And what do I get in return? You rub shoulders with known detractors of mine and talk about me in Discord with them. But I'm the uh, bad friend. Make it make sense. Tipster would then give an explanation on Augie's stream and would say that apparently AP felt like Tipster didn't defend her enough in the Bo Blacks debate. Tipster said that she had put herself in that situation and he, he couldn't really defend her, which is honestly true. Little did he know that the comment he would make on that stream would possibly be the catalyst for the implosion that would happen the very next day. AP was not happy with Tipster's explanation, so she went completely nuclear and dropped all of her DMs with him while insinuating that he was doing more than just joking around. She would all if you're out there and you see the tractor content, don't send it to me. I, I just don't care. I don't read my own press. I'm not that type of guy. Also drop a massive explanation on why she did such a thing. There's no I'm not gonna go out there and defend myself and get into freaking debates with people and just you know start internet blood sports all over again where everyone's attacking everyone else trying to bait them into a stream you know to try to pull up their clout level or whatever if someone makes a video about me then they don't like me oh well you know fine who cares
thing. And one of her points was that she was simply trying to deal with the inappropriate DMs so that she could get her footing in the YouTube scene. He was a stepping stone. The DMs are incredibly cringe and consist mostly of Tipster making a lot of flirtatious jokes late at night with his favorite goth mommy. Anything for a pink-haired hot goth mommy. Lamau, JK. Notice the new profile picture. Not gonna lie. Looking kind of hot and pink. Yeah, it looks good. Even hotter goth mommy. <laughs> new profile picture is even better. Now, it, it is worth noting that AP was acting in bad faith because she cut out some of the context of these screenshots, and those screenshots were eventually provided and elaborated on. And this is honestly a moment where you can you can feel bad for Tipster as well. This woman seemingly had no problem with him flirting with her all the time until it became convenient to throw him under the bus. She never even communicated to him that he should have stopped. Then again, well, he has a wife, so he shouldn't have done it to begin with. So both of them are wrong. He'll program. Again, many would bring up his own status, being married. And but she's married too, isn't she? So it's a heel program. Two married people talking to each other like that uh, outside of the marriage. That's a heel program. To be honest, I'm, I'm not here to go to bat for Miss Tippy. Tipster would defend himself and tweeted out that he was just being a supportive friend and was there for her when she needed him the most. Need I remind you that this is a woman he had met around November of 2021, and it was only May of 2022 when she decided to expose him. Tipster did not know this woman at all in reality, and, and, and she wasn't really his friend. He was just bored, horny, and online. It was late at night, and he wanted some goth mommy company to pass the time. Now, did he go overboard in these DMs and, and cross some kind of line? That's subjective. Some say he did, some say he didn't. But the main point to criticize him on is putting himself in this situation to begin with. He knew about her insane behavior because she did it on stream and he had to deal with it. It happened on his own streams. And yet he engaged with her anyway. He continued talking to her to no one's benefit. It's like getting into a fight with a mountain lion, right? You can get mad at the lion for, for mauling you to death and eating you, but it, it's just in its nature. Such is the natural state of AP and many e-girls in this harem, the goth mommies. And as a result, I mean, you can blame them, but at the end of the day, he's the YouTuber. He's the one with an audience, he kind of has a responsibility to not engage with these kinds of fucking freaks. AP would later go on to say that Tipster didn't engage in anything beyond harmless flirting, and that she was really just pissed off due to everyone calling her AP overdose, because she was constantly drunk on stream. She would also say that Tipster could be creepy, but he didn't he didn't cross a line. That being said, him texting her late at night did make her a little uncomfortable. When asked if she was trying to go after his reputation, she answered that she wanted to hurt him as bad as she was hurting. Now, you'd think after an interaction like this, Tipster would want nothing to do with this person. I mean, I mean, regardless of whatever the friendship was, she dumped all of his DMs. Like, you, you can't be friends with someone like this again. But it wouldn't be long before Tipster heard the sweet, soothing sound of her voice, and she was welcomed back within the warm embrace of the Tip's bulbous bosom. They completely reconnected, and Tipster forgave her, mainly because he had found a new catalyst for this drama and someone to blame so that he could, you know, basically mentally cope and continue being friends with her. That being Craig Beckett. The accusation was the small YouTuber Craig Beckett was the one that got AP over 9k to release Tipster's DMs, and he was the true evil doer in this situation. Tipster would release a video on Craig and would join AP on a podcast in which the two memed on their conflict and showed the small commentary world that all was okay. Yes, yes, Tipster welcomed back his number one goth mommy and all was right in the world. In fact, months later, Craig Beckett would be exposed for actually sexting a 17 year old and he was lovely. Another one. Oh my God. Okay. But still, why is he associating with in a romantic way? a woman who claims to be married while he's married and they're openly saying this stuff to each other. How does the husband feel about his wife, you know, flirting with tipster and how does tipsters wife feel about him flirting with all these other women, you know, in any normal relationship, this would be something that people, you know, disapprove of. Like if you had a girlfriend or boyfriend and he was out there flirting with everybody, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't like it. You know, you're supposed to be with me. You know what I mean? driven to irrelevance and completely left the community, deservedly so. So all was well within the kingdom of goth mommies, and AP and Tipster and all the other orbiters would live happily ever after. How old is that girl, though? My God, she looks really young. That is until December of 2022, when AP would make her son call residential Spurg Spawn Dial and completely destroy what little reputation she, she did have left. Hey, come here. Come here. I need you to say one thing. Hold on, everyone shut up. Say Spawn Dial is a n***er. No. Do it. No. Do it. No. Spawn Dial is a n***er. No. <laughs> that was the only thing to get my phone back. I did it. Okay, okay. Okay. You have your phone back if you say Spawn Dial is a No, you didn't. Wait, okay, say it in here. Right here. Spawn Dial is a That's what I thought. <laughs>
Yeah, coffee. What is wrong with you people? Just Jesus. All right. Yes, that's funny because a lot of people have tried, but it doesn't work, does it? Now, Tister had nothing to do with this situation. However, he would end up inserting himself into it regardless when he grew frustrated with a small commentator, DJ Screwdriver, for mentioning AP as Tipster's friend and flipped out on DJ Screwdriver in a Twitter space. Tipster looked horrible in this situation and lost a debate to a kid a less than 20 years old with no more than 20 subscribers. But if you do somehow lose a debate to Tipster, don't worry about it. He'll embarrass himself more than you ever could the very next day. Take, for instance, the Okie's Weird Stories debate. Okie's Weird Stories is someone will call a commentary channel for, for the purpose of this video, but he's really more of a documentary maker. And on November 28th, 2021, Oki would join Tipster in a debate, and it wouldn't be long before shenanigans began. Tipster started off in good faith by saying he just wanted to understand what was going on, and Oki explained his situation and then went into how he hated Tipster's Twitter account because Tipster constantly spurgs out and deletes his tweets, which is still a pattern to this very day. He also called his content bad and called him a bottom feeder, which, I mean, you know, most commentary channels are, to be, to be completely honest. In response, Tipster had DMs with Oki ready to go, where Oki was complimenting his content a few months prior. At this point, he simply booted Oki from the call before he could even explain himself, and then reveled victoriously as his chat spammed W's and called him based. Based god tipster Kekistani warrior wins again. You're adorable, tipster. Why, thank you. Ooh, woo. <laughs> In the eyes of the public, Tipster finally had a victory. He was riding on the high of owning a YouTuber much larger than himself. He had won after spurging at residential troll Salvo Pancakes. Tipster, you're gonna look so Show silly. me what you have or shut the up. Tip would enter a new drama with Doe Jangles, girlfriend of Mudahar from some ordinary gamers. This That's the problem with the blood sports thing is, you know, it's always people just trying to fight with bigger people to, you know, get them on a stream to argue with them or whatever. Like, you know, I'm not trying to start drama with anybody I cover. I just watch stuff that I think people will be interested by and commentate and hope for the best. This once again led to a live confrontation. Dojangles had been memeing on Tipster all throughout the past few days in May of 2022, and it was Tippy's turn to fight back against the blonde commentary orbiter. This was a screaming match where the two talked over each other a stupendous amount of times, but it boiled down to Tipster being an alleged weirdo who kept messaging Paige the Panda, a victim of Lion Maker, while Paige was apparently trying to avoid messages from anyone. Doe alleged that Tipster had even seeked out Paige's own Facebook to try and message her there. For four years, Tipster has followed me and then blocked me I whenever I even, don't I haven't even known Talk, of your existence up, for four up, years up, you're saying that up, i try to, you, didn't you, i haven't didn't even known of your existence page the panda years. didn't you go and look for page the panda on facebook and friend request her Wait, yeah i was a your girl yeah i was in yes. communication with yes. her because no, we no, were no, discussing no, 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 her no, no. GoFundMe. She communication with you and you went and freaking friend requested her on facebook you went to go look for her that's on facebook. not true that's not you true when i friended her on facebook we were I have the I'm not shot. saying I'm not saying I didn't friend Why her. are you doing stuff like her. this? Doe continuously called Tipster gross while Tipster apparently had no idea what she was talking about. You you always do stuff like this to get people's attention. You've been doing it like this for four years. I think you're gross. I have no I idea did, what you're, you're talking about. So I, you keep saying you're I've been doing so this for years. I have no idea yeah, what the fuck you're talking about. And then I haven't even known you. I don't follow you back. Doe seemed to have the impression that Tipster loved the ladies. He would frequently follow and unfollow various e-girls, waiting until they followed him back to finally stay consistent with a mutual. Tippy would then lose it on Doe and ask why he kept following and unfollowing her. I came here to correct the record on what your boyfriend said about me. Your boyfriend said I've been desperately You've been literally to trying to get my attention for the true. last four years by no, following and unfollowing. Yes, you no, have. No, I haven't. I literally haven't. Then what is that? Then what is that? I already answered your question. Are you brain dead? No, I think <laughs> I think you just might be a little bit too much like on the prowl and you may need to kind of like so you know, kick back okay, on that a little because, bit too so much. You're really desperate because to this, make this, me into this some creepy This is actually creepy. what actually okay. happens. This, is, this is what happens. This is what happens. When you try too hard to get eat pussy, my dude, it backs up on you. Well, well previously he had denied it. He tries to get what? Hold on. When you try too hard to get eat pussy, my dude. Is that a thing? E P word. E E kitty cat. You know what I mean? E E kitty cat. You, you get what I mean? It backs up on you. Oh, that is well, previous e P cat. You get. You know what I mean? Obviously, he had denied it all outright. An apology would be made by him. Here's yeah. what I'll say, okay? If I had ever done anything that made her feel uncomfortable or anyone for that matter, I sincerely apologize because that was never my intention whatsoever who would have thought and he said that if he happened to make page the panda uncomfortable then he was sincerely sorry and to make the timeline clear the next day ap would drop tipster's dms where he was hungry for some goth mommy muff just so you guys get the timeline right <laughs>
Tipster is loyal to a fault and will defend his goth mommy's honor without hesitation. All that for a promise of one little drop of as far as we know, he hasn't he hasn't actually gotten from any of these chicks. This was clear with overdose, but the true extent of this wouldn't be seen until February of 2023 when a fellow goth mommy named Rum was exposed for apparently liking. Now there's a lot of questions on whether she meant to actually like it or not. Her claim was that it was an accident, but a few pressed X to doubt. Thankfully for her, her reputation wasn't far enough gone for Tipster, who once again donned his triple XL white knight armor. He proclaimed that the art was triple XL white knight armor. Not even X responded, proclaiming, It's Lipster. It's a cartoon of a child in nothing but a strip of clothing covering the flat chest and crotch. Had to unfollow Rum because her liking it put that disgust out of my timeline. Tipster claimed it was not at all, and that it could have possibly just been a drawing of a petite grown woman. He further defended the art and his friend liking it, and was then ripped apart by commentary Spurgs, who completely disagreed with him. Rum would again reiterate that she didn't, she didn't even remember liking this art, apparently. But Tipster ignored that and went on stream anyway to defend this to the death. So, Tipster, I'd like to I explain should... your thought process of some of your tweets you've made about... Um... Uh, so, my thought process is that, like, I feel like a lot of the people who are chiming in on this situation don't know about anime, and so they're I'm chiming in from a place of, like, ignorance, I'm, right? I'm if you were to yes. actually look my at the profile of the person that posted that particular image, they have done stylized art of characters that are clearly adults in nature in similar uh, art styles. It's clearly well, what stylized do you mean by, what, do you mean, what do you mean by stylized? Meaning all the characters are done in the same art style. So looking like kids. <laughs> like, no, I mean, no. to you it looks like kids, but like just what? just because you think something is a kid doesn't mean it's a kid. I mean, by that I, logic, you bro, can make the same I, argument that that twenty-four-year-old reality star who everybody says looks like a kid is a kid. Okay, well we're talking about a drawing. I want to make that clear. But right, like, exactly. But also, yeah. so like what. Yeah, <laughs> I also want to make it clear that this like, person has posted arts of actual adults in the same art style, and they're completely exactly. Different. That's what I'm saying. Yes. Yeah. So they've shown ones that they show how to draw adults, and then they show these, and they're completely different, more look like younger, like a child of it. It's more of a. Why can't y'all just go to the you know any site like you know the hub is some may call it you know the. the youtube friendly version of it called the hub or you know x videos or whatever why can't you just go there and just you know work out that tension on your own and move on with your day why why did why do people obsess over that sort of content you know what i mean like you know what do you, what do you call them gooners or whatever uh, i don't understand why people get like so obsessed with that type of content that or, or obsessed with anything of that nature that will just ruin you you know what i mean like you know going out there flirting with every girl and you know thinking that you're donald trump or whatever you know like the donald trump of youtube you know he always has a hot girl on his arms and all that stuff and yeah it's just like you're not that guy bro you're not you're, you're not you're not famous you know you're not traditionally attractive to women or probably men either you know and you just you know you're married you need to stop dude i don't know why you you know keep disrespecting your wife this way you know if you married her you tied yourself to her legally and you may even have a child with her if i'm not mistaken and, and you're still doing this you know it's just disrespectful dude i just don't understand it how does she feel about it i wonder you know all the simping he does for these goth mommies as he calls them or like keffles now who he talks about constantly and you know in a favorable light and all of that and just i don't understand people if you see both art and keep i mean if you and here's the funny thing is like if you want to make the argument that you don't like this art or you think it's a little bit creepy like that's a fair argument to make i don't even like this art myself like i looked at it and i'm like yeah it's not my cup of tea but like i don't think somebody should be labeled like a pedophile for liking this art I don't I think do. I think they should. If you're into the art, it's over. If you're into illustrations of children being abused, you are a that, that's that's all it is, you know? You are a PDF. You are openable by Adobe Acrobat at that point. Anybody. I'm just saying it's weird for you to this and, and to be clear, I'm not saying this. that that's what you're labeling people, but there are people who are making that argument. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, sure. Those people are but, but like tipster, like, I don't I just don't really see your <laughs> I still really see how you're saying it's not Wally when 
Like, I, I mean, I'm looking, me, at a, I'm looking at an artist. I'm looking at an artist who's doing similar characters and similar art style that are very clearly adult characters. And so I'm saying, OK, this is their art style. So that doesn't like in the, automatically indicate that this is a child. OK, that's what I'm saying. He's a creep. He is a creep. That, that's that's the title of this video. Tipster is a creep. I mean, that's what he is. And it's going to get demonetized because YouTube doesn't like the word creep. But he is that's exactly what tipster is he is a creepy old man perving on young people that don't want him awkwardly and they're just being nice to not you know be rude you know like like women deal with this kind of stuff all the time i'm not trying to be white knight or anything it's like you know it's just the fact that attractive women do deal with creepy old men like tipster all the time and they generally or people that don't like confrontation, so they'll do eh, you know, just whatever, just play it off and hope the creepy old guy just goes away, you know? And then after he leaves, they're disgusted, but they don't want to, you know, show that out of uh general politeness. Like cashiers, you know, like the hot cashier does not want you. You know what I mean? saying now if the I'm artist came at forward, it as like if it looks if like the a artist kid, then came like, I forward and said that yes this is like, meant to be a child then i will concede my point but my point is we're looking at a picture and we're deducing things from a picture that can't be deduced from a picture alone if you're attracted to something that looks like a child even if it's of age you're still a pred you're still a pdf you know what i mean it's not what is that girl's name she's like i don't know if they were talking about her a second ago the one that's like 25 but she looks like she's eight or something she has some type of growth disorder and she goes to like bars and stuff and you know they it was on tlc or what what is her name is that her i think i found her we don't need to show her on here her name's shauna ray it's like this 22 year old that has like a growth disorder or some type of thing that makes her look like she's still eight you know or nine years old and if you think that shauna ray is attractive it doesn't matter if she's 22 it's the fact that you're attracted to somebody that looks like they're eight so you're attracted to eight-year-olds the age does not make it better and this is sort of like the same problem that i had before where people always brought up the legality argument of boogie and desi where they were like, oh, she's legal, man. It's legal. It's legal. It's legal. It's legal. So it's okay. No, it's legal to mess with that Shauna girl, but it's still gross, dude. Cause you're, you're with somebody that resembles a child. So you're attracted to a child and child features, you know, it's predatory is what it is. Like Boogie with Desi, she's th uh, like literally 30 years younger than him or JF Gariapi, where he like goes and serially abuses women who are mentally handicapped that have the mind of an 11 year old, you know, who he's also made defensive, you know, remarks about PDF issues, basically supportive and understanding of it. Also, for someone that's supposed to be like a genius, like a brain surgeon and a doctor and all that, he does say a lot of dumb stuff. For someone who claims to be high IQ, he says a lot of stupid stuff. That's what I'm saying. I, There's I don't, not enough I don't information know, I, to come to the conclusion that that's a child. What that's all I'm saying. Enough information. It what, did, like, what do you mean? Do you look, look, is your is your, is not your first reaction looking at that like that looks like a kid? What do you mean? Like, no, what? no. It what? Looks like that's not your first reaction. Me. Like, if you disagree yeah. with me, that's fair, but I'm just giving you the logic also, behind my take. Tipster would grow frustrated with his fellow Spurgs and would refuse to back down, but he had chosen this hill. He did the same on the Keemstar show to justify his case, and that also didn't go over too well. Yo. Tipster, why why do you support uh, Rum? Rum is her name, right? Liking that post? Like, how is that not uh, whatever? Well, first of all, what I want to get into is you guys are saying that I'm defending and I would never defend. Okay. I don't advocate for, but you're defending the girl who liked it all who for liked like it. So indirectly you're defending it. Right. But my interpretation is that it's not okay. like if you, if you, if you think it's the art, you think it's like weird, then okay. You're welcome to that opinion. I don't think it is. So what, like what? this, this notion that I'm like some defender or I'm in favor of the existence of is ridiculous okay so you say that you don't like the image right so i want to ask you does that does looking at that image in any way make you feel uncomfortable do I yes think it makes me feel uncomfortable just looking at the head of said person i don't want to know what's below that i i don't want to know 
think it's like a really creepy, weird looking piece, sure, but I don't think it's a lot. Okay, so then let me ask you a question. What are the factors that draw you to say that this is a very creepy, weird looking piece? Because we also agree this is a very weird, creepy looking piece. And the reason why we say that is because it looks like a child. So what are the reasons that you're drawing to to say that it's a very- Let me just say this up front. I don't know what Khan even looks like. You know what I mean? I've never seeked out. I don't even watch anime, right? The only reason I know what Khan is is just the fact that Ralph's girlfriend or wife, actually wife, you know, his second wife or possibly even his only legal wife, Amanda, you know, Pantsu, she was into it and I had to, you know, look up what the definition was on urban dictionary. Cause <laughs> when it comes to anything like of that variety, you know, the NSFW variety, I generally don't want to actually type that into Google and, and see any examples of it. Cause there's no telling what it's going to be. So urban dictionary is a great way to do that. You can just type in anything and it will just tell you and what nastiness that, you know, euphemism means. And I looked it up and I was like, Oh, good God. Yeah, that's gross. These people are nasty. So I, I just avoid anime in general. I, I avoid anime. Well, what do they call it? Hentai. I avoid that in general because I just, I'm not into it. I'm not into that style. I like humans. You know, I don't like drawings. I don't understand the appeal of a 2D non animated drawing, you know. I've never sat here watching Dragon Ball Z and thought, oh my God, Boma. <laughs> never thought that ever. You know what I mean? Tipster. Weird, creepy looking piece. Tipster, look. <laughs> Friggin' Tipster's turning to Master Roshi. <laughs> Remember Master Roshi? Like in the original, where they, before they censored him and all that, when it was, I, I don't know what dub it was, but where Master Roshi like had porn magazines and like he was actually just like an old creep that would always creep on Bulma and it was actually pretty funny. It was played for comedy and, you know, he'd be creepy to her and she'd, you know, hit him or whatever. And, that had the weird Japanese sort of image or whatever. That's as much as I know about anime is Dragon Ball Z really. Cause you know, Dragon Ball Z might as well be as popular as Bugs Bunny over here. You're defending rum basically because she's your friend. Then that's the and a few other, the four, what is it called? Four kids, four chan. What, no, not four chan. What if you call the thing where it was like they had it like Funimation. That's what it is where they had like the Toonami stuff. I saw some of that, but you know, I don't know. I'm like the type of guy that I'll watch one episode of an anime. If I do have it come across my desk, cause people saying it's incredible. I watch one episode like Baron Lagan or, uh, the Castlevania one. I think I got a few episodes into or whatever. And then I just kind of forget about it and just don't watch it. I'm not a type of guy that's going to sit here and like binge watch one piece or whatever. And <laughs> thousand plus episodes, whatever that is, get, get, get out of here with that. You know? only reason why so i know a little bit about anime now that i think about it but not not a lot they're just pretty much just my knowledge goes to toonami and that's about it this image is like this is a little kid this controversy affected him so much that he even made a video explaining his side of the story and finally he would go on xyle gets real stream to participate in a debate in which he would concede the other side's point was valid oh, why does he just concede to say it's creepy what just picture in question Oh. Why is this so much work to just say, you know what? I was wrong. I, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't know. I, I would just, I screwed up. I, I'm dumb. Your honor. You know, I'm dumb. I'm too dumb to know that that was illegal sort of thing. Finally, he would go on his highly gets real stream to participate in a debate in which he would concede the other side's point was valid. Oh, look at this tweet that's connected to that picture in question. Oh, it's a boy. <laughs> Someone get flamenco in here right now. Oh, I'm trying to mess with you guys. <laughs> this is so stupid. Everybody has been on me about this stupid- Then there was the Mama Max confrontation. Mama Max, a YouTuber who hunters, began a trend on social media. I've never heard of them. I'm actually- I actually am a huge fan of the channel. Poachers, I Catch Preds, uh, Protect the Innocent, Gordon Flowers, T-Cap, Hanson vs. Takedown with Chris Hansen. I watch all of it. I love it. I actually need to go subscribe to True Blue again and binge that takedown series because I've only got through the first couple episodes of that and I haven't finished it yet. I need to, though. I love those shows. Media called hashtag pick aside YouTube in December of 2021. Oh, great. Here we go.
because one of his videos was demonetized or taken down. Tipster was highly critical of Mama Max's approach and was very vocal on Twitter. He would eventually dive into the DMs with Max, and Max had apparently agreed to come on Tipster's show where he would be interviewed about the movement. However, it wouldn't be long before Tipster would cancel the interview and he and Max would get into a heated back and forth on Twitter where he would share some of Tipster's DMs. This led to a lot of mockery as Max seemingly made a real attempt to communicate, and Tipster just did his classic internet tough guy act, which is very funny when you consider what the guy looks like. In frustration, Tipster would deactivate his account again for the hundredth time in this guy's fucking career and we wouldn't hear from him for a few days. At this point, we've gone through a lot of drama that makes Tipster look bad, undoubtedly. The general Tipster cycle has been fully established. He does something stupid, doubles down, and then does the tough guy act, and finally deactivates his account and runs away, before <laughs> coming back and vowing that things will change, he's apologizing, he's moving on, but it's a cycle he's doomed to repeat. He goes right back to step one almost immediately. In early 2022, he would even delete a bunch of his videos, vowing he was done with the commentary genre, he was moving on. No more bullying, no more making fun of people, no more criticism videos, he was done. At the same time, meanwhile, when John Swan got into his own drama, he decided to record a private call with John with the intention of leaking it right after. Not exactly. That's not good. Exactly the behavior of someone who is done with drama. But at this point, principles and consistency can be damned, so I even try to hold this guy to any kind of standard. Having exhausted his list of commentary e-girls to orbit, and I do mean every last one, he's now moved on to a new type of girl, trans ones. He's gone out of his way to advocate for trans people in the most bizarre ways, though, like defending Chris Chan from being misgendered. Who okay, hold on, I gotta read this. Tipster says, if you're going to be transphobic piece of crap, in my mentions, literally just do me a favor and unfollow me. I will, uh, I will be saving, you'll be saving me the time and effort of having to block you. Thanks. Someone says, bro, he R worded his mom. I don't think he deserves any respect at all. Tipster said her actions, her, are we really going to call Chris Chan or her? Uh, that just, we're not. Her actions have nothing to do with. Her gender, how hard is it to understand? Who, keep in mind, his own mother. And also keep in mind that Chris admittedly became trans because he thought it would give him a better chance at getting with cis chicks, which, I mean, I guess technically worked but not in the way that most of us imagined. Now he's doing bait ops with Keffels and finding camaraderie with Jalen of all people. Yes, the same psychotic Jalen I covered over a year ago. People wonder why I left the commentary community. Here's Poncho, a commentary YouTuber with 1.7 million subscribe me. The state of commentary is so sh if you don't adhere to the narrative of minorities bad, you get accused of lying. Keep in mind that Jalen called a black kid the like two months ago. Jalen has a mental breakdown while in the Leafy is here Discord. I find it just really funny that they like they say on Twitter, yeah, all transphobic people are files and just being openly transphobic towards Ringo. That's not being transphobic. I can make 41% jokes. Also, Ringo's oh, literally, no. Ringo's also literally making the same jokes. Like, what the f are you talking about, Nick? Like, what the f are you Ooh. Ooh. Dude, what is going on? Like, you're not, you're you. not black. You're I not thought... I thought this person was what? A black Jalen, you're not allowed to say that. You're not allowed to you say that word. Are you just beast towards black people? What? I am. That's not us. Yeah, exactly. Dude, we're not that directly. This person is an embarrassment to the trans to the white race, dude. I'm not trying to cancel anyone for using slurs, but Jalen has a track record worse than Richard Spencer in terms of being recorded saying unhinged when she thinks no one is watching. So I feel like she's not in a position to talk about how bigoted the commentary community is when she's 10 times more edgy and insane than any of them. If the commentary community is, is bigoted, Jalen, then you are the CEO of racism. I quit the commentary community and now I'm going viral on leftist Twitter. No, bro. Oh my God. I quit the commentary community and now I'm going viral on leftist Twitter. Get out now, it's not worth staying. You didn't quit. You got bullied because you're a crazy person who on one hand criticizes others for being, on the other hand, are 10 times is bad yourself this is pure delusion and on top i know i did a video about Jalen, but i can't remember anything about him at this point I actually can't I, I hope i didn't say anything good about him i'm pretty sure i didn't but oh god i don't watch my own stuff like i, I put out this stuff i edit it to make sure it's you know watchable basically you know deal with the eq and all of that sort of stuff to make sure it's as watchable as possible then i just you know push it out and i don't even remember a lot of it you know video blows up you know six months later i don't remember anything i said in that video i don't remember anything i said in this video after i recorded it 
I got to literally write down notes of stuff to delete, like right after I said it. Cause otherwise I, I don't even know what I said in this video, to be honest. So I hope it was good. Top of that, I mean, th these people talk about the commentary community like it's the mafia. Glad you got out too. Dude, it's Twitter. You're 40 years old. Get over yourself. But never fear because Tipster has really important things to talk about now, like trans women lactating. He's our super sweetie activist. Why, thank you. Ooh, woo. But whether he actually cares or is just trying to give them the tip is up for debate. And by up for debate, I mean, let's be real, this dude is a, is a total chaser. This new journey I'm on hasn't been easy, but feedback like this makes it all worth it. Thank you. Well, you guys have heard me ramble for long enough. I think it's time to wrap this video up with something special for the Tom Dark channel. How's this for some feedback, Tippy? No, we're not going to listen to his rap song. All right. In conclusion, he is a creep and should be banned off of everything just for the simple fact that he has used his platform to abuse women and also, you know, creeped on 